Hello and welcome to Altcoin XP. My name is Anthony. In light of the My Ether Wallet and My Crypto debacle, I want to show you guys how you can ditch both of them and use the official Ethereum wallet. For those of you who don't know, the two creators of My Ether Wallet decided to part ways and now there are two separate websites, one being My Ether Wallet and the other being My Crypto. Right now, we're uncertain of the future of each of these websites and therefore are uncertain of how far we can trust them. To learn more about this situation, please see my previous video. It specifically recounts everything that happened between Taylor and Kosala. Anyway, this video got me thinking, maybe I can use the official Ethereum wallet for my needs. And it turns out I only ever had two needs for my Ether wallet. Number one, I didn't want to store and sync the large Ethereum blockchain. It can be inconvenient to keep the Ethereum client running and staying in sync, so I limit to running it about once a week. However, if I need to make a fast transaction, I often don't have the blockchain synced, nor do I have the time to wait for it to sync. This is one of the reasons I would use my Ether wallet and import my key store file to their website. However, a recent update to Geth claims a usable blockchain sync in about one minute. Uh, this is using a light client, so it's not a full blockchain sync, but it is a usable blockchain sync, which one minute is really a holy shit moment. Because in the past, I've spent days trying to get the Ethereum blockchain to sync. If this is the case, Geth version 1.8 will definitely mitigate my need for my Ether wallet when I need to make fast transactions. The second reason I've used my Ether wallet before was for interacting with token contracts. My Ether wallet makes interacting with tokens simpler because they import all the contract interface access code stuff for you. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to import token interface contract code stuff to the official Ethereum wallet also. Now, these are just my use cases for the My Ether wallet, but maybe you have your own needs for their site as well. For example, what you won't get in this video that you get with My Ether wallet is access to your Ether from things like MetaMask, Trezor, Ledger, Jax, and Digital Bitbox. In theory, you can just export your private keys from these services and import them into the Ethereum wallet. But since I don't use any of these services, I'm not including any of that in this video. My Ether wallet would also delete any trace of your private key after you import it and make your transaction. So if you were to import your private key and want to keep your computer clean of any private key or key store file after, you would have to manually delete your key store file after you're finished with making your transactions. However, the key store file is encrypted and you need a password to access your ether on it. So that kind of mitigates the risk of someone being able to spend your ether if your key store file is on your computer anyway. But that's kind of a topic for some other video. So let's begin by summoning our virtual machine of justice. <sighs> I'm going to be installing the Ethereum wallet for Windows, the, so the installation will be different if you're using OSX or Linux, but afterwards, after the install, everything else in this guide will be the same. So let's grab our human interface device and get going. Yeah. First, let's go to the Ethereum Wallet GitHub page and download the latest 64-bit zip file for Windows. Then go to your downloads folder and extract the files from the zip archive. Next, go to the geth 1.8 GitHub page and scroll down to where it says binaries and mobile libraries are available on our download page and click that link. This saves us from having to compile geth ourselves. Now download geth 1.8 for Windows and run the executable to install it. After it's installed, open command prompt and type cd c colon backslash program files backslash geth and press enter to change to the geth application directory. Then type in dash dash sync mode equal light to start the light client. 
Next, go back to your download folder and run the Ethereum wallet executable. The Ethereum wallet will recognize the already running version of Geth and use it instead of the default Geth version 1.7.2 that the Ethereum wallet shipped with. So it's 3.31 right now when I start the blockchain sync. Let's see how long it takes to sync from scratch. 3.32. Holy shit, that was fast. Well, this is certainly one less reason I have to use my Ether wallet. And my Geth folder is only 168 megabytes too. So I no longer need to have a dedicated hard drive to store the full blockchain. So now let's learn how to interact with token contracts from the official Ethereum wallet. I actually haven't done this in a while, so I have to relearn as we go. Let's try and import the ENS registry contract interface. If we go to the MyEtherWallet website, uh, we can see how simple they make this for us. We can go to the drop down menu and select the contract we want to interact with. For example, the ENS registry contract. Then we simply go to the Ethereum wallet, click on the contracts tab at top, and then click on watch contract. Then we copy the contract address and JSON interface over from my Ether wallet and name the contract as we like. Now we have access to all the same contract functions my Ether wallet has. But what if we want to interact with the contract that my Ether wallet hasn't added yet? Where would we get the JSON interface from? Well, all we really need is the contract address, which we can get from the developer. With that, we can go to etherscan.io and get the JSON's code needed to import into my Ether wallet. Here we see the same ENS registry we used a few seconds ago. If we click on contract source and go down to contract ABI, we see all the same code that we got from my Ether wallet. All we need to do is copy and paste that code into the watch contract section, as well as the contract address, just like before. So that's it. Those two things make my Ether wallet useless to me. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please like, subscribe, and share for more videos like these. And to support videos from me, please donate Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Dash to the addresses both on screen and in the video description. And lastly, follow me on all social media. Take care and goodbye.